I've done a previous video on this where we cut top bars for the hive. We've set the saw up. The dimension, dimensional width of a standard top bar, which is this one here, is between one and a quarter and one and three eighths inches wide. I've already set the saw up to cut that width. And I'm gonna go through all of these top bar boards and go ahead and cut them to width. cut the top bars for your hive. If you're gonna do cleats, you're gonna cut enough to fill the hive plus half as much more. This hive takes 31 top bars. Um, and I've actually cut 16 extra. The reason is those 16 are gonna be the ones that we cut the cleats out of that'll uh, be glued in and make the top bars. So I've just finished cutting all the top bars for the hives. As I said a minute ago, one and a half times the total. So we're gonna take and set this up to cut cleats. To cut the cleat, we need to angle the blade of the saw or the bevel of the cut. And I do it at 45 degrees. Just like that. Go ahead and lock this into place. Now, we're gonna move the fence in so that this bevel cuts about halfway through on this board. Let's so what we wanna do to cut these cleats for the top of the hives, we're gonna take a regular top bar, we're gonna set our blade at 45 degrees and pull the fence in so that it cuts halfway through or about center point on the board itself to cut a 45 degree angle. Let's do that. Now once that 45 degree is cut into the wood, which we ran it through this way, we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna run it this way to get 45 degrees on either side. So it now comes to a peak here. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So that our wood looks like that on the end. You see we have two 45 degree angles. Now once I've cut all the boards I'm going to come back and straighten the blade up and set it to cut down the center of this board to get two cleats out of this one top bar that I've angled. I've ripped all these down. Now what we're going to do is reset this saw. We're going to start by shifting that blade back up to a 90 degree angle. Then we're gonna adjust this fence in so that it splits this right down the middle of this board. which cuts us two cleats. You'll see, I'm not quite perfectly centered. I need to move it over a little bit, but I can do that. And it's not overly important if they're off a hair. So let's move this out just a hair.
that looks better. Now what I'm going to do is go through and rip all of these boards that I've already done down into the actual cleats that we will use to put on the top bars. In order to get cleated top bars like this, we need to cut the cleats down. Now these cleats, as you can tell, are the full length of the bar. We don't need that because this needs to sit inside the top bar hive. So these cleats need to be cut down to 13 inches for the hives that I'm making. I'm going to take a tape measure here and mark the first one. All right, we get this one marked. And you take this saw. Go ahead and line up on that mark. Cut that piece off. Now, some people will get a closer measurement to the hive and cut these at angles. I don't find that absolutely necessary. Basically, I'm gonna go through and cut all these cleats that I just did. And then we'll work on putting them onto the top bars. Bars here that are 17 inches long. And we have our cleats here that are 13 inches long which gives us the top bars are four inches bigger than the cleats. And that means we need to come in two inches from the end of the board to center the cleat. I'm gonna mark two inches in. Put that cleat on and make sure it looks good. That looks pretty good. So you wanna center the cleat this way and you wanna center it this way. I will be using an electric brad gun for this. We're going to start by running a bead of glue right down the middle of this board. And this is the first board. And go ahead and line up that cleat between my two marks and in the center of the board. Then I'm going to come up on the top of that cleat, the, uh, come up on the point of that cleat and put a brad into it at both ends and one in the middle. That will hold that cleat in place while that glue dries and it helps reinforce it. Now I've got a bunch of these to do. Um, two hives worth to be exact. So now that I have my initial one done, grab a couple of bars and a couple of cleats. Here's what we'll do. We will line these two bars up. Run a bead of glue down the middle and set this cleat based on that one. Line the next bar up, run our bead of glue, set the cleat in place, center it up both directions. put three brads in it. So there's two cleats finished. I've actually got, for two hives, I got 64 of these to get through. So that is pretty much it. We have two top bar hives. I've cut all the top bars. I've put cleats on all the top bars. They're currently sitting in here upside down so that the glue can dry on those cleats before I turn them over and put them into the hive itself. The only thing really left to do is to build a stand for these and drill some entry holes for the bees. Um, 
I'll be building a stand in the next video and getting these into a, a good stand that'll hold them up.